Einstein believed that a unified equation should be beautiful in its simplicity, containing no free parameters. This is Nassim Haramein's equation. It contains no free parameters, and it solves for mass and gravity, both at the cosmological and quantum scale, with simple geometry and algebra. I took the radius, I calculated the surface, I calculated the volume, and then I divided by the little Planck spheres to figure out how many is inside and how many is outside. So that the outside was denoted as eta in our paper and the inside as capital R. And then I just did R over eta. I just looked at the relationship of the inside information to the surface horizon information. And I got a ratio. And eventually, I multiplied that ratio by a mass, the Planck mass. And the result of my equation was the exact gravitational mass of the black hole, just by basically pixelating the inside and the outside of the black hole and looking at their relationship. So all of a sudden, I was getting a solution to gravity, the solution to Einstein field equation, a solution that is based on holography, but not only that, a solution that's based on little Planck pixel so that it was quantized. Einstein said we can't solve problems by using the same kind of thinking we used when we created them. Creating this bridge to unify the great divide in physics is an important step forward in advancing a more connected view of physics. So in the paper that I wrote and I, I sent to the Library of Congress for copywriting in December 2012, I make this little prediction that the radius of the proton should be exactly this value. And I state in the paper that more precise measurement in the future may confirm this theoretical result. I started to work on getting the paper published and sending it to colleagues around the world. I was getting very good reviews on it from very advanced physicists. And then all of a sudden, a paper was published. On January 25th, 2013, a new muonic measurement of the charge radius of the proton confirmed Haramein's predicted value. The experimental results were not what the quantum world wanted to hear. The measurement came in at 4% smaller than what was expected by the standard model. And so it was very difficult for the scientific community to accept this measurement. Nassim, you're on Yahoo Finance News. What do you think about that? Oh my God. <laughs> Changing the paradigm as we talk. History in the making. New Connected Universe Theory offers an alternative explanation of gravity and mass, revealing potential new source of energy. That's big. Look, it's in the middle of the day. I mean, the night. Oh, that's fantastic. That's really awesome. Oh, my God. It's incredible. The wire went out, and within minutes, it was picked up by some of the largest networks and media on the planet. And it's already across the world. India, um... Germany, I mean, Europe is coming online. The East Coast will in the next few hours, I'm sure. I just feel like, okay, we're making a significant difference now. We're, we're really kind of birthing a new paradigm, a new moment in the history of science and the history of uh, understanding of the universe on the planet. Some 30 years I've been visualizing this moment where my work would appear on major news feeds all around the world. I mean, we got a lot of, a lot of pickup on this news. 
today is the day. And it's kind of strange. It's a strange feeling. It's like, oh my God, it actually happened. And, you know, it seems like a day like any other day. But it, this is the day that it happened. And this could very well be the day that uh, science changed forever.